What is this? Tasia are broken up. Mm hmm. And you're okay, but y'all tell me if it's comfy by the time I get back. Mackenzie and Tasia are broken up. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. And you're with Tasia. What happened? God. I know they didn't have sex, but they both did stuff. He gave me head. What the fuck? Huh? Hi. Hello. Who are you and who did you come with today? I am Tasia. I came with Dylan and Kenzie. How do you know these two? We've all gone to school together since we were in preschool. Good luck, yeah, we're, buddy. we're best friends. We were just Tasia's biggest fans, I guess, and so we would do everything together for Tasia, and that's she, she brought us together. When did you realize you liked her? In sixth grade. He was like my first crush and everything. I like was obsessed with him. When did you realize you liked her? In sixth grade. He was like my first crush and everything. I like was obsessed with him. We officially started dating the start of man, our sophomore fuck. year of high school. <laughs> when did you realize you had feelings for Tasia? I would say oh, she's sure my senior year. I could tell Kenzie liked Tasia before I could tell she liked her back. Well, that's, that's I did kind of have a crush on her, but I didn't know at the time. Her you, and Dylan you, were on. You could, you could, you could fuck your your homegirls, bitch, bro. Like you really gonna get tight, bro. You could fuck your homegirls, bitch, bro. The Rocks they had broken up a few times that year. I was like, I just want to, like, I want to kiss you so bad. Their whole thing was they wanted to kiss before they graduated. And she's like, no, I would love to, but I don't want to, you know, ruin things with Dylan. I told Dylan a couple days after that, I was like, I really want to kiss her. Like, I just want to know what it's like. And what? he was like, okay, you can for like a second. Just a little peck? Why not? It all changed from there. We ended up kissing for like longer than a second. Kenzie came to me and was like, no, it was like five minutes. And I was like, that is a lot different than 30 seconds. Did you confront Tasia? Yeah, what? I just was like, it kind of just hurt. I do feel bad about what I did to Dylan. Do you think she wanted you two to break up secretly? Well, no, yeah. I feel like Tasia is my person. Once they finally broke up, Tasia and I started dating. I eventually told oh, Dylan, I think I need to like date Kenzie. I don't think I could be with you if I didn't know. He was not happy about it. He stopped going to our classes together, which resulted in him getting the most absences senior year. I really didn't like her for a long time. I just felt like I was just like, just led on, like strung out until they could be together. Do you think that you're a bad friend at all to Dylan? I think I could have done better. That's maybe, like, I, but... <laughs> I don't know why I don't feel bad though. I don't know. Like you left for another nigga, I feel bad, I guess. Bro, you left it for your whole girl. <laughs> That's the reason I'm like, oh shit. If that happens, that happens, bro. If your bitch leave you for a girl, bro, like, it is what it is, gang. But, you know, we've cleared the air, we've squashed it. I think that Dylan and I are gonna be all right. He's, he's my best friend. Fast forward, you <laughs> two were together, but then you break up. Why did you two break up? She was going to this girl's house. I knew this girl liked her, but, like, she was with a bunch of friends. I was like, okay, don't do anything weird. She was like, okay, I won't, I promise. And then barely responded to me the whole night. And she was like, I did something bad. And I was like, of course you didn't. I kissed somebody else and she viewed that as cheating, which it, which it is. And then she came over and I was like, okay, if you don't talk to her anymore, then we can be fine. I didn't want to be told what to do at the time, which was very unhealthy. I feel and like this so shit's worse. I mean, at least you got left and not cheated on, bro. Well, I, I just, I just I ain't gonna, I've never been broken up with before though. So I just don't know how that feels, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So maybe I'm lacking sympathy, bro. But like in my head, like getting cheated on just way worse than just getting left. I mean, if you get left, then for someone to, for another nigga, then I guess. Yeah, I swear on my left, I've never gotten broken up before. I do not know what that feels like. I swear, every single time I've gone, ended, like a relationship ended, in my whole life, they either cheated, so I broke up with them, or it wasn't working, and I broke up with them, they're like, yeah, you're right, you broke up, or like, yeah, I've never got broken up with before. Ever in my life, ever, ever, ever. You were apart for four months. Was there a little part of you that was a little like, oh, now you know what it feels like to kind of be cheated on? I'm so glad you said that. Yeah. So he was really, really sweet to me, actually. Oh I think maybe. That nigga, that nigga was like, hey! That nigga was happy as fuck. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah. So Chat he was you, really, what they really saying, sweet bro? to me, actually. I think maybe there's a little part of him that was like, doesn't feel good, does it? Oh, that breakup fucking sucked. Because of my actions, I was a little bit exiled, in my opinion. Dylan definitely was more on uh, Tasia's side. I was fully supportive of Tasia and tried to look out for her best interests. At yeah. first, I felt very attacked. It hurt, definitely, to see that once Tasia and I are not together, he's kind of quick to go to Tasia, in my opinion. Man, and Tasia are broken up. Mm-hmm. And you're with Tasia. What happened? 
Tell me what he's an announcement. When Tasia and I were on a break on New Year's, Tasia and Dylan got together. A bunch of friends were over. We were celebrating, having a great time. I had too much, way too much to drink that night. I remember waking up the next morning and being like, oh man, I think I did something very bad. I know they didn't have sex, but they both did stuff. Are you sure they didn't have sex? I'm, I mean, I'm sure I grilled her, and she would tell me. Tasia can never lie to me. That's the one thing Ain't I do. Ain't she cheat on the bitch, though? She won't lie to me. He gave me fuck? head? I don't really remember, truthfully, because we were both really drunk. I felt so bad. I felt like I'd Why been betrayed by both of my best friends. How? Weren't they dating, and you started fucking with the bitch, and then you cheated on her, so her, the old... How? What do you mean? I would like to think there's no chemistry or anything between them anymore, and so that kind of brings up, like, what if that's still a thing for both of them? Does this all end with you and Tasia together? 100%, yeah. I hope so. So dream scenario, how does it end for you and Mackenzie? We get married, and Dylan is our best man. I think they're both just toxic enough to where they just won't leave each other, and they'll be good forever. So why not a threesome? Just balance it out. Well, I don't think I'm allowed to talk about it. It's not for me, no. <laughs> no. And that's not to say that I've made mistakes. Wait, what? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, at this point, I would not. All right, bitches. What? Hey, this nigga just called me a bitch. Said I'm on three plus right now, if I'm being honest. Hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket. Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really honest. Look at you just window shopping that new bag I bought.